Hello! <laughs> Today I'm here with a new video. Today I am going to do a get rid with me. I will at least try and... God, I have so much cat hair on me. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm drinking um, an apple. Alcohol-free apple cider with... So I guess it's like an alcohol-free mix between a cider and a beer i don't like beer but this was actually good and i'm going to do a normal a simple eye look and uh, after this video i will try to do a short video with the new lip clays from kaleidos so when i'm doing swatch videos on my lips i or on lipsticks, I usually wear something more neutral on my eyes because I think it goes better to testing different lipsticks. So I'm going to use these two from Kaleidos. This is Sashimi City and Cyber Bronze. And I think I mostly will use this one, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm going to prime my eyes and get started and it feels like it was forever since I did get ready with me but I guess it wasn't super long and I have I don't know might something that I want to talk about I am feeling so okay maybe I should just put on my eyeshadow primer before I start to talk okay so I have some things that I want to talk about. I think okay, I have so many things everywhere. Um that I think I want to talk about, but I like don't know how to start. Maybe I can start with that. I'm feeling I don't know. I'm feeling like myself, but I'm not feeling like myself. I don't know if it is because it's getting darker, um fall is coming. And maybe I just feel a bit low because of that. That might be the case. <laughs> I don't know. Or I'm just maybe not in a good place in my life right now. I don't know. I just feel I have a hard time to get things done. Like everything. Like filming and... Uh, I just do something during the days. I have these kinds of periods when I am so uninspired with everything. And it makes me a little bit sad because in September I was really good at posting videos here on YouTube. I did post like every other day. I think at least for the whole September and i was like really in a good flow with youtube and it was fun and i filmed a lot after work and i did edit a lot but then <laughs> i did my nabla cute week this cat hair is bothering me so much um i did a nabla cute week like in the end of September and the beginning of October and that week really <laughs> drained me. I forgot how how it is to have a theme week and a theme week with seven videos and um, I didn't plan it super good and then I had a collab video as well that I really wanted to do but I was like okay I need to do the cutie week first and yeah it wasn't it wasn't great and then <laughs> October came and I still post some videos not that much but I like can't find a motivation and a joy for YouTube right now and I hate I've talked about this so much and I really do hate it and at the same time, I like want to share it with you because I know that you, some of you feel like I do as well. And me, 
maybe I should just take a break from YouTube, I don't know. And then I see people starting to do like Halloween video videos, Halloween videos. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I need to do that as well. But yeah, I don't know. It feels like I have once again lost myself a little bit where I am on YouTube. And who I want to be. I am now in October having a no buy. I mentioned this in another video, me and two of my friends, we are having a no buy and today is the 16th, I think. Yeah, so we are halfway through and it's going good, I haven't chopped any makeup or skincare. I bought a cooking book and that is like the only thing that I bought for me this month. So that feels really good and I have, okay, I don't know where to start, I don't know how to and get the things that I'm thinking out of my head. I'm so sorry about this confusing video but I'm actually thinking of doing like a shopping spree on Black Friday. I'm going to have up a Black Friday wishlist video. Maybe it is before this, <laughs> maybe, I don't know, but um, I'm thinking of having like a shopping spree on Black Friday and then I might want to try to have a no buy for a whole year. Because the latest I have been sick and tired, okay this look is not getting light and dainty. Maybe I should just take a really light shimmer on the rest of my lid. Um, because that's for right now. I don't even want to show you my makeup table, but it's just like chaos all over with like everything. Especially my eyeshadow palettes, it is just piles with eyeshadow palettes. And it stresses me and it doesn't want me to sit down and really do uh, or film. And I am thinking about starting to do a decluttering series. So start with my, uh, no, my base things, my lip things, and then do an eyeshadow collection and decluttering video and then like really start a no buy year and it is like this I don't know what I want to do on YouTube I know that I want to do makeup I know that I don't want to be super big on YouTube but I always like to grow but I don't I think I've come to terms like doing test new makeup and things like that. That is maybe not just my thing. I like to do that but I don't feel like it is my place on YouTube and I don't think it's my thing. But then I'm like okay what is my makeup thing on YouTube? I have no idea. And maybe I've tried to figure this out this year, but I haven't been that good. You know it hasn't been a great year for me. Um, my dad has been really sick and... <laughs> the end of last year. Last year wasn't good either. Um, we had to take... Put down two of our cats. And as a cat mom that hurts and then I ended the year with having the virus thingy and I was sick for a long time, two weeks and it took me months <laughs> to get back to my normal self. And then everything happened to my dad and I was, yep it just hasn't, the last year didn't end well. This year didn't start good <laughs> and it hasn't been good. But I have for once in my life 
not turned to shop super much or eat a lot when I'm feeling down. It's like the first time in my grown up life that I haven't turned myself to food or shopping. I have done some shopping, yes, but it could have been so much worse. So I guess I'm a little proud of that. But at the same time, it feels like I've lost myself a little bit this year. And it feels like I've also realized like maybe I want to start to try to be or figure out like who I am. Okay, is this a depressing video? Yeah. It might be. Welcome to my channel. And I really want to find like what I want to do on YouTube. And I think like new makeup releases isn't my thing. But that has been my thing for so long. So now if I'm not going to do that, I'm going to be a little bit confused. Now I have a cat here and I can't have her here because she can't behave. See, I'm just feeling like a little bit confused and uh, one part of me think it's good to talk about this because I guess that people feel the same way but maybe in other times when I've tried to find myself. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I think I have, but I don't. And I also feel like I need to find a YouTube plan that <laughs> works for me. I usually don't have the energy to film more than one video per, per time. So <laughs> it usually ends up with me sitting down and <laughs> putting on makeup and I don't know do I want to have a channel like that? Or do I want to do more talky videos but like I don't know what to talk about and sometimes when I have done a makeup look I don't have any, any energy left to talk about something else or I just don't know and or it takes too long time for me to do the first video and yeah. I am not one of these people that have the energy for everything and can go on and like go on like forever and just like do things. I'm not a doer, I'm a <laughs> what is the opposite of a doer? A donker? I don't know, but I just um uh, I don't have that personality and I've talked about this before that like I think I just need to accept that <laughs> and it's been hard and I can for a time be one of these like I really do things but then it hits me in the face like a brick wall and but I'm guessing that I just need to like, okay, this is how I work or I need to like find how I work because apparently it is not like this. Okay, I think it's going to be <laughs> so fun to edit this video. I think I'm going to look on, on myself and be like, what even is this? But yeah, I just wanted to talk to you about this and hopefully at least one of you <laughs> know the struggles and have kind of the same struggles maybe that is not good to wish upon someone but you know that you're not alone and often i feel like when you're watching youtube and at least beauty YouTube, everything has to be really like put together. 
and yeah, I don't know. I still like this community, it's not that I'm saying, but I just feel like it is so hard to not compare to people, to other people. And if you're not feeling super great within yourself, it just makes it even harder. And like for me, I work full time at my normal jo job. And then this is just my hobby and I'm so sorry for trying to do other things while I'm talking. And I, yeah, I just think that I need to realize that like, I can't compare with others. I have a job outside of this that sometimes really drains me and uh, I work at least 40 hours a week and I have to learn to find a balance between that, between YouTube and everything. And I <laughs> also need to be a little bit nicer to myself. I think I'm better though than a couple of years ago or just even a year ago. But at the same time I know that I could be so much better. Do I look like a little child? Okay, this video is so confusing. It's even confusing to me talking about this. So I can, I guess for you that are watching this, it's like, what the hell is this? But we are in this confusion together. So I really want now to just try to figure out what I want to do on YouTube and really like trying to not compare myself to others too much. I usually don't do it, but you know, like when you're having when you're not feeling your best, um, things get to you that normally don't get to you. Like <laughs> things that wouldn't even bother me a good day. If I'm having a bad day, it can make me cry. And I'm actually a little bit, I wouldn't say scared, <laughs> but I'm a little bit nervous of like doing an eyeshadow palette collection because it feels a little bit scary <laughs> for some reason to show all the palettes I have. Mainly a little bit to myself because I don't know how many palettes I have and if I'm going to be honest I don't know if I even want to know. And at the same time I <laughs> am a little nervous to show it. I don't know why though but I just am. And I hope when I'm doing that and going to do and declutter that I am in a mood where I'm not like too um, too easy to convince myself like yeah I think I need this palette even though I know that I don't need it. But we will see. I'm not going into that palette collection video as if I'm going to decluttering my palette collection. I'm going into it like I'm going to do a palette collection, not a decluttering video. But hopefully I'm going to declutter at least some things. And I also think about I have some palettes that I have had for over a year that I haven't even tried. And I'm actually thinking about decluttering them because I feel like if I haven't used them for over a year, I probably might never do because if I really wanted to use them, I should have already done it. And uh, yeah, we will see. We will see if I'm going to be hard on myself or not. But I'm like, okay, I'm starting with base products because I feel that that is the easiest one. This wasn't a good brush to this. And then I'm thinking about going over to lip products and then do eyeshadows. So I can like train a little bit on the cluttering things. 
Also, that's strange. Is that something you can do? I don't know. We will have to wait and see. Maybe that is a thing to do. And I... <laughs> One part of me was really like thinking, should I really go out if I'm doing a no-buy? Because what if I fail and uh, I'm going to disappoint some of you? But then I was like, okay, I'm going to try to do this. And if I fail, I fail. If I succeed, I succeed. So if I'm really going into this, doing a no-buy year, I'm going to allow myself to buy things, like replacement things, even though I don't know if I have anything that I will run out of during a whole year, and that is bad, maybe. Maybe I ran out of concealer or mascaras, I'm going to have to buy mascara because I can't use one mascara too long. I don't even think that I could use the same mascara for a whole year. I actually think that I will use it up. Uh, so that I'm going to do. And I'm going to buy new skincare when my skincare is out. And also another part of me want to do a no buy year because I've talked about this before, but me and my boyfriend, we are trying to buy a house. It's not going super good because people are bidding on houses like crazy and we don't because we, we do not want to pay or we do not want to take all the money we have and to put in a house, but that is what people are doing right now. So it's not going that good, but if I could like, I have started to think about like a five year plan five years five year long saving plan it sounds so much when i say it out loud and it is pretty long while but then it would be so cool to actually do that but if like our dream house comes up before that yeah maybe we buy this instead and maybe I can change. Maybe I, maybe I love to have an no-buy. Maybe after a while I don't even will think about it as a no-buy. And maybe I will be better to do things like in my collection. I really hope that I will be better with that. But also I'm thinking like, do I even going to stand to live in this apartment for five more years. We have been here for ten. Do I want to be here for five more years? But we are actually like fixing some small things with the apartment. This weekend we have <laughs> done a super big clean in our bathroom. Like steamed the whole thing put in a new I don't know the English word for this I can write it here. we have fixed new of these and we have painted all of the pipes so it looks a little bit more fresh it's still an ugly brown yellowish plastic mat on the floor that we yeah we could paint it but we only rent this apartment so yeah and where should we go to the toilet if we paint the floor and we live in yeah we live like with a private landlord so we are allowed to fix some more things than if you rent from like a bigger um, and not the private one does this even be in, is this even interesting no it is not so we 
are allowed to do things in the apartment and not ask for like can we do this and like in the bathroom i only think that the landlord is going to be glad if we we do it and not him the things we have done in this apartment we have repainted it and um, the whole apartment and <laughs> the bedroom we have painted two times it was red when we moved in a really like light warm red so we painted it dark red um, but then I didn't want that, so we painted it. Yeah, it's light gray. And now I want it to be dark blue. I'm trying to convince my boyfriend of it. It's not going that good. He has been like, yeah, if you do it on your own, fine. But I don't want to do it with you because you're going to change your mind again. And it's not the most fun thing to repaint a bedroom. And we have also put in new floors in the bedroom and in the kitchen. And in the kitchen, it was like... I just hated the floor in there. <laughs> so we asked our landlord if we could get a new floor. So he was here and checked and he was like, yeah, of course. Um, do you want to do it yourself or do you want us to do it? And we was like, we, we can do it ourselves. So we did in put in new floors in the kitchen and that lifted the kitchen a lot and we also painted a wall in the kitchen for not that long time ago so yeah that is what we have done to this apartment and uh, i think if we do some small stuff like this with some years in between maybe i can stand to live here for five more years to save up the money that I want. And I, it is like that if we really, 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 I did run off my memory card, didn't realize that was that full. But the idea is like this, if we really, really, really wanted to move, we do afford a house, maybe not in our dream area, but we can afford a house, but we are living pretty close to the city. We live kind of in the city and we do not pay much in rent. So that's why we feel like, yeah, we want to wait for the perfect house and in a neighborhood where we really, really want to live. And we also live good like for work. I have 10 minute right to work and it's kind of the same for my boyfriend. So I guess if we didn't like it here, I think we have should, I think then we already would have bought a house or even an apartment, but we are totally fine with living here. I don't love the apartment, but yeah. So if we can stay, for a couple of more years and have the money to don't have to like you know if you want to move and I have some areas that I absolutely don't want to live in in this town I have some areas that I am okay with living in and then I have some areas where I really want to live and if I could stay in this apartment for a couple of more years to be able to move the, like exactly what I want. So yeah, I guess we are staying here a little bit longer than expected. Okay, so I think I am done with this look. I do like it. I It though turned out a little bit more <laughs> dark than I would want it to, but... I do really like it, so I'm not going to put anything on my lips because I'm going to... Okay, how am I supposed to fix this? I'm going to swatch the new Apple Collection Kaleidos lip thingies, so yeah, I guess that I will end this video and I don't know the name of these now. I'm. <laughs> ending this confusing it red with me now 
I just I just wanted to sit down and talk and just talk about that I don't know what I want to do on YouTube that I might go on a no by year I'm kind of sure I want to tell you if it's going to happen maybe maybe not and that I'm trying to find a better way for me to do my YouTube channel life thing my dingy and why this mascara it is the essence lash princess I, this does not want to work with me. It's so like wet. Is that it? it came on my bottom lashes on one eye, so now I need to have it on the bottom lashes on the other eye. And I hate to have mascara on my bottom lashes because they are so freaking long. But okay, I'm going to end this get ready with me now. I hope that you liked it and I will see you when I will see you. I have some videos that I've already filmed that I don't know when each of them are coming up. Maybe the thing with me is I can feel super great tomorrow. I know that I can have my motivation back tomorrow. I can have all my energy back tomorrow or it will take a couple of weeks. I never know <laughs> and they, this is just my life. This is just how it is with me. So I will see you when I will see you. I hope that it will just keep on for a couple of days. I guess that you haven't noticed that much because I've still been on YouTube. But okay, I am going to end this video now. Thank you for watching. Sorry for being confusing you and myself. But yeah, I really hope you like this and I will see you when I will see you. Bye!